I don't know the member login. Let's go ahead and do admin, admin. Okay. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be doing a Vuln Hub machine called Kyaptrix 1.3. So if you guys are ready for the fun, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's grow the channel and let's have some fun. Let's jump onto the desktop. All right, folks, so we are going to install this VM. I just thought about this. I actually deleted it and I wanted to show you guys how to actually set this VM up because it can be a little tricky. So I have the VM here. Uh, you can probably see it, you probably can't. So you just download it, extract it, put it into a folder, right? So what you have to do if you're using VMware, we have to create a new virtual machine. And for, you can just put typical, that's fine. I'll install the operating system later. Linux, that's all good in the hood. And you can just put, I'm just gonna put K4 VM, right? For Kyoptrix uh, VM4, okay? This is all good and finished, right? So once this is actually done, what we have to do is come into here, go to settings, right? So your hard drive, you delete the hard drive right? Because we have our own drive that we want to install. So we can click on add hard drive next recommended uh, SCSI. That's fine. I want to use an existing hard disk next. We can browse out to that. Go wherever you, I have it in my temp directory right here. I want to click on this, go ahead and hit finished, go ahead and keep existing format. That's fine. And then hit. Okay. So once that's up and running, we can go ahead and hit power on. And fingers crossed, it actually boots up. You can just hit, yeah, that's fine, power it up. And let's go ahead and click out of here and just give this a second. And it's gonna load that VM. Once this VM is loaded, then we'll continue. Okay, so now once we boot it, booted it up, it's actually up and running. So now what we can do is go back to our Kali machine and I'm just gonna show you guys, this is the Kyoptrix level 1.3 number four. So what it's all about, you can just download it right here. Like I said, you just have to follow the steps that I just did prior to get it up and running. You don't just double click on the VMDK, it's not gonna work. So what we have here, we have staying, uh, let's see, is it possible remote compromise machine stays with blah, blah, blah must be realistic well kinda should serve as a refresher for me be a php mysql okay so this is pretty much the thanks to patrick from that's not me <laughs> so um hack fest cool thank you so much pat really appreciate it so all right so note just a virtual disk You'll need to create a virtual machine and attach that. I didn't even read this before. So this is actually what we had to do. So please read, don't be like me. Okay, so now I don't, enough talking. Now let's go to work, right? So now let's go ahead and come over here. I created a, a directory for this already. And first thing I'm gonna do is a net discover. So I don't know that IP address for that machine. And I'm going to do a net discover interface ETH zero. And my range is right here. One, nine, two, one, six, eight, that 100 dot zero. Okay. So once we have that up and running, we can see that we have four hosts here. I can kill this now because technically I only have this VM and that Kyoptrix machine. So it's not going to be one. That's my router. This is a switch and this is the broadcast. So I'm sure this is going to be it right here, right? 133. So what I'm gonna do really quick, I'm gonna do a nmap scan, if I can spell. And I wanna go ahead as 133. And I wanna just hit scan, that's, that's, I wanna put K, just so I have it's K4. Okay, K4 scan. And once this is done, what we can do is just continue the process. So let's go back to what this is saying. That's pretty much that English. These are some walkthroughs. Hopefully I don't need a walkthrough. I haven't done a Voln Hub machine in so long. So it uh, doesn't really give you too much about the VM. Uh, to, to, to keeping this. 
So I guess that they're saying it's relatively easy. Let's see how easy it is. Sometimes it's not easy for me, but uh, <laughs> some of these boxes can throw me through a loop. I remember the first one I did was uh, threw me through a loop for sure. Okay, cool. So the computer name is Chiopteryx 4. Let's see what's popping on this shell. Uh, <laughs> popping on this shell, pop a shell. What's popping on this uh, machine? So we have port 22, port 80, 139, and 445. Cool. So what I want to do is I want to take a little snip of Rooney, even though I, you know, just from my note taking. Whoa, I want to try to make this a little smaller. And that's going to be my notes and then hit enter, enter. All right. So let's go ahead and just go out to the, to the uh, web and let's see what's cracking here. And let's make this bigger. So member login. I don't know the member login. Let's go ahead and do admin, admin. Okay, nada. All right, so let's go ahead and try again. So what we have to do, we can see if there's any, like, let's see, what else can we do? We, we can try to enumerate it through the web, see if there's anything there. So let's just use GoBuster. Let's go GoBuster. Oh, no, that's not what Buster. This is not what I want to do, but I can just, let's go ahead and just put the IP. So it's 192.168.100.133. Okay. So let that cook. That was pretty quick. So we have images, index, member. So let's go ahead and see if there, so everything is pointing to index.php. And then we have another directory, John and Robert. All right, so that looks pretty. So John and Robert are probably a username, I would assume. But let's see if there's a, let's go here and do John. Um, John.php. Let's see if there's anything here that's uh, nothing really. Yeah, nothing really, nothing really uh, promising. Let's click on here, nothing. Let's see if there's anything here. Dip, up, 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 up. No. All right, cool deal. So let's just, so John is probably a user, right? So what we can try to do now is let's see, for example, John, and say for example, we try to do John, John. Let's see, no. All right, let's see if it's susceptible to any SQL injection. So. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and try this little little SQL injection. So we're going to do this or one equals one, you know, the basic shiznit and see if this gives me any luck, right? So let's go ahead and copy this and let's come back here and let's paste it. Uh, that didn't really work. Uh, let's see, if, let's do try again. Maybe I didn't copy that. Copy. There we go. Okay, cool. So that did work. So it's susceptible to SQL injection. Okay, so now we have a username and password. John, my name is John. Let's go ahead and throw this in our notes. Okay. All right, so that's, and the other one was Robert. Right, so let's come out and log out and let's do Robert and then let's do that same, that same thing. Go ahead and just copy this. And I have a lot of uh, SQL injection stuff on a cheat sheet because I never remember all these to be quite frank. All right, so that one worked too. All right, so now I don't know if there's a hash or a password, but I'm pretty sure it's probably a password because why would it be a hash if it's in the password thing? All right, cool. So now we have some creds, right? So we have some credentials now. So we're getting somewhere. All right, so let's go, let's minimize this. Let's come back here and what else was running? Let's do LS. Let's go ahead and K. I think what SSH was running, I think. Yeah, SSH was running. Okay, cool. So now what we can do, let me go ahead and copy this 
and then SSH John 33 okay yes and then my password is gonna be my name is John copy this paste it boom okay we are in let's make this a little bigger so you guys can see all right so welcome to lick goat employee so shell is in the place so you don't screw up type question mark all right so these are the allowed commands that we can utilize we can utilize cd clear echo exit help ll l path and ls all right so let's do an ls all right let's do a help all right just showing us that okay so what we're going to do now since we can echo we can go ahead and get a a better shell so let's go i think it's echo os dash system and then let's go ahead and give this a jingle slash bin bash bash can type and talk at the same time okay there we go okay cool deal so now it's a little better a little stable shell Let's do an ls here all right so now what we can do is try to let's just see if we can do a pseudo l and then let's come back here copy my password if it's that easy that wouldn't be good okay so john may run blah, blah. okay so what we're gonna probably do i have an idea so let's go ahead and uh, I'm trying to think. All right, we can use CD. So let's do CD var dub dub dub. All right, so there's some stuff. There's John Robert check login. All right, let's cat check login. Uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, my password, select tables. Let's come all the way to the top. Uh, ooh, root. And the password is nothing. So we can log into MySQL using root and blank password. Is that, am I reading that right? I think so. All right, so let's give this a jingle. All right, so let's see if this works. All right, let's see. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's try it out. So my, uh, it's really late here. It's like, what time is it now? It's almost 12, 30, 12 o'clock at night. So I'm a little, I'm a little uh, tired. SQL. So it's gonna be host local, local host because this is the machine. You root. Perfect. And now we can see we are logged into MySQL. So what we can do here, we can try to run some commands. Let's try to run like select. I think this is if we, if we may, if we. Don't get it. We probably have to go out to Google, but let's uh, let's give this a try. All right. So everything from MySQL. I think it's MySQL dot function or oh, func. No. Uh, oh, I func. Okay. Cool. See, I am getting tired. My eyes are starting to get squinty too, looking like a, you know, a squinty eyed guy. All right, so we can see that we have system exec. Perfect. So this looks pretty good. So what we can do now, what we can do is add John, see if we can add John to the admins group, see if it allows us to execute these commands. And let's see if it, see if I can Google that really quick. I, I know, I, I believe I know how to do it, but let's just do, uh, user mod, add a user to a group. So you can see how to do it. I want to show you guys now anyway. So it's pretty much user mod, um, dash a dash G. Yep. Right here. User mod. Here we go. So this command right here is what we need to do, but let's go ahead and get back into here, but we have to add John, not geek, right? So let's select select so we're going to do system uh, sys exact 
All right, so now we're gonna do that same command that we just found and user mod dash a dash g for add group admin john okay all right perfect so that was added so technically if this all goes good let's quit this q u i t e and what we have to do is just do sudo su and we are root there we go who am i root sounds good so now we can just cd to root ls congrats if i can spell congrats boom we got it you've got root congratulations we did it yay so this was fun this was actually it was pretty easy i'm not gonna lie but it was a it was a fun box so thank you so much for recommending me this one guys really appreciate it so yeah, maybe we'll do the next one next time. So thank you so much for checking us out. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. See you in the next one.